So I you're in my. Okay. Said that. So why are you, you so? You quote me. Quote me in the right way. I didn't say you. You Anyone said that follows from the this book country. Of Islam in this country, mm -hmm. it's not compatible with this country. So okay. Not into a country where so it's what are the principles yeah, of Islam that are not way. compatible? That you think with the, with the Western values? Still the non-believers. Okay. Say that but, wait, slow down. Slow down. Does it Can, say that in the book? Slow down. We will do this down, one by. No. We will analyze. Hopefully, with your help. Point by point, point by point. So, point. so you consider Islam says kill the non-believers? Does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. Where? Now, where's, where's the discussion? Then? Slow down. Where's the discussion? Slow it down. Say that. Relax. Excuse me. Now, who made the claim that it says kill the non-believers? Me or him? Right. Substantiate your claim. Because you just made an extremist claim. You just made a claim what you call an extremist claim, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you obviously gonna deny it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You made a claim like an extremist. So I would like you to substantiate where Islamic text says kill the non-believers. Go ahead. You, my friend, are you saying that it doesn't say that? I just said so. Yeah. Are you saying that it doesn't say that? It's called the Quran? No, I'm asking you a question. With an English translation. There you go, my friend. Substantiate your extremist view. No, I need a shit. No, substantiate your extremist view. Extremist view. Did you hear what he said? Next time when he goes to the toilet, he's going to use this. What kind of decent human being would say that? Do you understand me, sir? Don't you dare threaten me. Excuse me. What? Can you leave that conversation, please, bro? You're saying that it doesn't even okay. say that in the right. That's how bad. Right, 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 right. That's how bad. No, no. So so I'm sure. No, I'm right. sure you've read this before. No, no, no. Apparently, it that's doesn't say. Wait, wait. Right. I'm sure. I'm sure, it. I'm sure you've read it before. Right. Right. Quran. Yes, yeah? it's a Quran. Go ahead. Yes, 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 so this is the Quran with English translation. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to touch that. Okay, tell me where to find it. Where can I find it? I'll touch it. Are you saying why? Why? Why are they killing us? Wait, 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 wait. Why are they planning to kill us? Why are they twenty? Why are they twenty? Thousand people on the watch list. Okay. Why are there twenty thousand believers on the watch list in this country? Let me tell you. Huh? Let me tell you. Why are there twenty thousand believers in this country? Be patient. Trying to kill us. Right. Why are there people blowing kids up in Manchester? Seven seven in two thousand and five. Not all of us. Brother, brother, please. Why? Why are they doing it? Do you want to have a good conversation here, or you want to pay emotional? Like you. Ask me the question. Why are they doing it? So this is a. I'll talk to this brother before you. Brother, brother. Listen, do you want to have an emotional discussion here or an intellectual one? Very good. Now, so what we now? My, my name, my name is Mansoor. What's yours? Brayden. Hmm? Brayden. Now, Brayden. What I've noticed now suddenly, what we call. No, you're trying to control the conversation. Okay. It's not going to happen. Tell me when you're finished. Right. So, answer me this question: Why are there twenty thousand people on the watch list, Muslims on the watch list, potentially going to create? Terrorism. Why are there God knows how many hundreds of people gone from London to Syria and killed people in the name of Islam? Why? Yeah. So, first question why are there more than 20,000 people in the watch list? Because they're on the watch list for a reason, right? Because they are potential terrorists. Yeah. And why are why they. Though? I thought you finished. And it's my turn okay, to. Sorry, sorry. The reason why I was repeating the question so that you understand that I've, I have actually heard your question. Okay, okay, cool. Right. And why are there. Lots of people, numerous people, countless number of people, or a large number of people going to Syria. Of course, if they're going to Syria, either to fight there, to get trained there, whatever, right? Okay. So what I've immediately noticed is a shift of goalpost. The original statement that you made was, you say F off to all the people in this country. That follow Islam. Because they follow Islam and follow this book. So I was interested to find out what are the principles and values from this book that goes against your values or the Western values? Listen, no, 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 hang on. I ask you a question, and you go. Brayden, Brayden, look, my memory isn't a short-term memory problem. I don't suffer from that. Right? I've already repeated the question that you asked, but what I'm highlighting is what we called the shift of goalpost. The original discussion has been challenging you of your offensive remark which you didn't want to apologize and there are people and there are people who are actually supporting your right to offend others oh right so God. so what i challenged you is I said, why are people blowing us up? No, excuse me. Why are people stabbing us? Why are there twenty thousand people on the watch list? Brayden. Yes. Did I not? Muslims. Did I not? They're following that book that you have in your hand. Brayden. They can incite the Quran to the word, and they won't blow twenty-two children up. And you're going to defend them. 
Yeah. Tell me when you finish. No. Because you're clearly not finished. Are you going to defend them? No. Would you them? Would you be kind enough to let me answer your question? You're not. Because you're going to go school with. You're going to go back onto the point of what I said. All people, not Muslims, all people that follow that book to the letter are not welcome in this country. They're not compatible, unfortunately. Sure. Yeah. I would. And the reason I was. Nothing wrong and with and what was the reason you said that? Because there's 20,000 of them on the watch list. They're blowing our children up. They're stabbing us on the bridge. They're running us over. Okay. What more do you want? They're sure. raping us. Okay. Yeah. So let's understand something. If right. Muslims, if Muslims don't condemn them, I do condemn them. Yeah. Let them be punished severely by the hands of the law. What I'm asking is this. People who should be punished are the people who are the criminals and whose crime has been established. So any criminal whose crime has been established by law, they should be punished. But my point was something quite different because you made a claim, whoever follows this book. Now, what within this book, this Quran, Am I changing that? Wait, 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 wait. What's the point of talking? That promotes values which are incompatible. You said this book says kill the non-believers. I challenged you saying no, it doesn't. Find it in that book. Hang on. I say it doesn't. So you've shifted your goalpost from, okay, why do people go to Syria? Question number two. And question number one, why are there more than 20,000 people in the watch list? Let me tell you why. First point. The Quran doesn't say go and kill civilian people, innocent people. Quran says fight those who fight you. That means if you fight the Muslims in a context of war, they're not going to say, oh, let me come and hug you and kiss you with flowers. No, they will fight and defend because it's a natural response. Secondly, since the Quran doesn't advocate or encourage the killing of innocent people, innocent civilians. Your remark about Muslims are doing this by following this book is totally, excuse me, totally unfounded. And this is how this is how we debunk this kind of claims. Now moving into your claim about why people do that. There are people who don't follow this book and then they gamble. And they're Muslim. Excuse me. Would you, would, would you let me finish? No, I'm trying to answer and you have no patience. The I people, the people who blow up in 7-7 no, on 9-11. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, put your fucking hand away from me. I'm telling you now. Shut your fucking mouth. Excuse me, brother, brother. Please, 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 please. Yeah, Mr. Mahdi, please, thank you. Right, excuse me, brother. Brother, please, please. Start. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. Start. Say a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. Start. Then I will show you. Brother, say a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. And look at, look at the floor. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. Okay, now I'm going to answer the crowd anyway because, you know, oh no, because Bradley, um, he thinks it's difficult to handle. Those people who go and blow up, they are going against clear principles from the Quran and the Sunnah, from Islamic teaching. So obviously they're not following Islam, are they? So our friends like, what was his name, Bradley? Brandon? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, sometimes names don't stick because if it's not repeated so many times. So what he doesn't realize is that we say it very clearly. Those people people who go and kill non-believers or whatever just because they're non-believers they're not following the Quranic teaching simple as that doesn't Islam and Judaism teach love your neighbor look after your neighbor so how can you go and kill your non-believer who's a neighbor it doesn't make any sense remember we just had to discuss this discussion before so what we're saying is this people go what we call by emotional brainwashing so our friend that I was speaking to and the few other individuals who were here before they're actually brainwashed by emotionalism brainwashed by the media they're brainwashed in a sense because they think Muslims are coming over to take over their values seriously if you look at Islamic history we have in Syria not now because now it's a mess you know for more than thousand years a church on, on this side and a mosque on this side Muslims and Christians living side by side for more than thousand years how was that possible how is it possible a mosque and a church just opposite to each other in Damascus it's because how Islam treats everyone in fairness and justice 
and intoleration. Just because, just because you don't, just because you don't agree, it doesn't mean we have to go and something annihilate you from existence. No, the differences can exist, and it's it's possible, and it has been always. No one can change each other's belief. So we encourage people. I want to make it very short. We encourage people to remove the veils that are blinding you by this emotional brainwashing by the media. Whether you read on the papers, watch it on YouTube, on 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 on, on TV, ask yourself: Does this book say such a thing? Such a horrible thing about killing the non-believers just because they are non-believer? Or is there a huge propaganda so there is a propaganda and I would like you to wake up to this propaganda and confront it yourself because unless you confront this propaganda you will be the victims you will be the victims they will you know mass mobilize a group of victims like you and then then go to Iraq and other countries to change the regime because they think it's, it's an existential threat because these countries are a threat to your civilization threat to your values and principles and that's why you will say let's go and fight and bomb Iraq and so on and so forth when it has nothing to do with any of these things